So if you've read the 45 second presentation, you know there's three different types of ships. Gold ships, silver ships, and empty ships. And the, uh, everyone that comes into this business is a silver ship in the beginning. And then how you work with them determines if they become an empty ship or a gold ship. And not, not just how you work with them, it's up to them to a certain extent. So how do you identify someone that is a silver ship but has really has that potential to become a gold ship. They are reaching out to you, they're asking you questions, they are setting goals, they are using the products, love the products, they have a strong why, what they're, what they're working towards, uh, they, they keep commitments, they're positive, they're fun to work with. Those are the people that have the potential to go from silver to gold. But in this business, and I'm very guilty of this too, we tend to work more with the empty ships than the ones that really have that potential to be gold ships. And the reason is because we see these silver ships that really have this potential to become gold. They're really good at, they have a lot of friends, they're, good, they're just naturally good at communicating. And so we think, okay, they're good, they, you know, they don't need my help as much, they'll go off and, and they're going to be successful. And we spend all our time like trying to pull along these empty ships. And really it just drags us down and, and drains our energy when we should be focusing on those gold ships and giving them more of our time, talking to them once a week at least, just seeing how things are going, bouncing ideas off each other. If you don't do that, if you don't spend that time and you just kind of let those gold ships go off because you think they're going to be good on their own, a lot of times they turn back into silver and then eventually even gold, or excuse me, even empty ships, unfortunately. So those are the five, those five gold ships you, that eventually that you're going to find, those are the people, those ones that have the potential, those are the ones you should be spending your time with. That's really where the business is going to grow. And it doesn't have to be personally sponsored coaches. It can be any coaches in your downline that have that potential. Those are the ones you should be really spending your time with. That's when you're going to see your business really start to take off.